Now let's see a C program to calculate GCD of two numbers without recursion. Uh, GCD means uh, greatest common divisor. Uh, this can also be called as uh, uh, HCF, greatest common divisor. GCD means this can also be called as HCF. Uh, HCF stands for highest common factor. So here we have to find out the highest common factor. Uh, let us take an example. Let we have two numbers. The first number is N1. Let N1 is 24. Let the second number is N2. Let it be 36. So here first we have to find out the factors for uh, uh, the two numbers. The factors for 24 are 1 is a factor. Next to 2 12s are 24. So 2 is a factor. 3 8s are 24. So 3 is a factor. 4 6 are 24. So 4 is a factor. 5 is not a factor. 6 4s are 24. So 6 is a factor. 7 is not a factor. 8 3s are 24. So 8 is a factor. 9 is not a factor. 10 11 are not a factors. Next to 12 is a factor. Next 12 to 12 to 24. Next to from 13 to 23. We don't have any factors. Next 24 is a factor. Next the factors for 36 are 1 is a factor. 2 18s are 36. So 2 is a factor. 3 12s are 36. So 3 is a factor. 4 9s are 36. So 4 is 4 is a factor. Next 5 is not a factor. 6 uh, 6 are 36. So 6 is a factor. Next 7, 8 are not factors. 9, 4 are 36. So 9 is a factor. 10, 11 are not factors. 12, 3 are 36. So 12 is a factor. Next from 13 to 17. We don't have any factors. 18 is a factor. Why? Because 18, 2 are 36. Next from 19 to 20, 35. No factors. Next 36 is a factor. Now let's see the logic here. Here the minimum factor. For any number is 1. 1 is the minimum factor. Whereas the maximum factor is that number. So that's why we have to start comparison from 1. So for i equal to 1. What is the condition? i less than or equal to n1. Why? Because we have to compare up to that number. If 24 is a number. Then we have to compare whether 24 is a factor or not. i less than or equal to n1. Logical end operator. Double end operator. Why? Because both the conditions must be true. Here we have to find out the common factors. If we observe the output here. Here what are the common factors here? 1 is a common factor. Next to 2, 3, 4. Next to 6, 12 are the common factors. So out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. What is the highest factor? What is the highest factor? 12 is the highest factor. So 12 is the output. 12 is the output. So here we have to find out the highest common factor. So that's why we have to raise logical end operator. Logical end operator. Uh, next to I plus plus. So after 1 we have to check whether 2 is a factor or not. Next 3 is a factor or not. So that's why we use a I plus plus. Next let's see the uh, uh, body here. Logic here. If n1 modulo i double equal to 0. And n2 modulo i double equal to 0. So what is n1 value? n1 value is 24. So 24 modulo 1 double equal to 0. Yes, condition is true. What is n2 value? 24. 24 modulo 1 double equal to 0. Yes, condition is true. So both the conditions are true. So GCD value is, what is i value? 1. So now GCD contains 1. Next i plus plus. i will become 2. What is the condition? n1 modulo i. Now what is n1? n1 is 24 only, but i is 2. So 24 modulo 2, yes, condition is true. Next, what is N2? 36. 36 modulo 2, yes, condition is true. So now GCD contains 2. Next, I become 3. <coughs> 24 modulo 3, yes, condition is true. Next, 36 modulo 3, yes, condition is true. So now GCD contains 3. Next, I becomes 4. So both the conditions are true. So GCD contains 4. Next, if you take 5. 24 modulo 5. What is the result? 5 fours are 24. So 4 is the result. So 4 double equal to 0. False. If one condition is false, then automatically other condition is also false. Here we have to find out the common factor. 
but here 5 is not a factor for 24 as well as 36. So the condition is true, false. So that GCD equal to I, that statement won't be executed. Next I, be, I becomes 6. So 6 is factor to 24 and 36. So now GCD contains 6. Next what about 7? 7 is not a factor to 24 as well as 36. So both the conditions are false. So that body won't be executed. Next I becomes 8. If you see here. 24 modulo 8. What is the result? 0 is the result. So, first condition is true. But what is the second condition? 36. What is the second condition? 36. So, 36 modulo 8. 36 modulo 8. So, condition is false. So, one condition is true. Another condition is false. So, what will happen? Entire expression will become false. So, GCD equal to I. That statement won't be executed. Next, I will become 9. So, 9 is a factor to 36, but 9 is not a factor to 24. 9 is not a factor to 24. So, that's why first condition is false, second condition is true. So, one condition is false, second condition is true. So, what will happen? The body won't be executed. Next to 10, 10 is not factor. 11, 11 is not factor. 12, 12 is a factor to 24 as well as 36. 24 modulo 12, condition is true. 36 modulo 24. 36 modulo 12. Yeah, both the conditions are true. So now GCD value will be changed to 12. Next, uh, next 13 is not a factor. 14, 15, 16, 17, not factors. Coming to the 8. 8 is a 18. 18. 18 is a factor to 36. But 18 is not a factor to 24. So first condition is false. Second condition is true. So then what will happen? The entire expression will become false. So that won't be executed. Next, uh, from 19 to uh, from 19 to 23 we don't have any factors and next I will become 24 so 24 modulo 24 if you see the expression now what is I value 24 so 24 is less than or equal to 24 yes condition is true uh, 24 is less than or equal to 36 yes both the conditions are true but 24 is a factor to 24 but 24 is not a factor to 36 so say 36 modulo 24 that condition is false so, second condition is false. So, one condition is true, another condition is false. So, the entire expression will become false. So, that will be, won't be executed. Next, I will become 25. I will become 25. What is the first condition? I less than or equal to N1. 25 is less than or equal to 24. First condition is false. Whereas, second condition is true. But we have logical and operated. So, when one condition is false, then the entire expression will, be, will become false. So, the control comes out from the for loop. So, now what is GCD value? So, GCD value is 12. So, let, let us see the program. Uh, here we have the program. So, N1, N2, GCD and I are the variables. Uh, next, we are reading the two numbers. N1, N2. Next, this is the logic for I equal to 1. I less than or equal to N1 and I less than or equal to N2, I plus plus. If it is a common factor, that means N1 modulo I double equal to 0 and N2 modulo I double equal to 0. Then we have to change GCD as I. Next display the result. Let us uh, run the program now. So here the numbers are. 24 is the first number. Uh, 36 is the second number. Next uh, the output is GCD is 12. 